Hi guys and welcome to my new video. So this video is about how to connect your cheap smartwatch to an Android smartphone. Not all functions are supported on these watches if you have an iPhone. The app I use is called MediaTek Smart Device App. So let's go ahead and show you a close up of that app. Top left you can see MediaTek Smart Device. This has actually not been set up with any watch yet so it's just that's how it would be w if you hadn't set your watch up so it's available in the Play Store it should work with all these cheap smart watches but works best with the smart watch that has the MediaTek chip inside it so if this, if this app doesn't work there are two other available apps in the Google Play Store and they are called one is called BT Notification and the other is called Smartwatch Helper let's just get that screen brighter again so don't use the QR code supplied with the watch as it links to an unsecure site on the internet and you don't know what you are downloading. So Google Play Store is much safer. So get the right app, install it on your phone, all three available from Google Play Store. So now this is the next so this is next part covers the first connection of your watch to your phone. So turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. Both the screens on the watch and the phone need to be on during the connection attempt. So if either is off they will not connect and you're wasting your time. So open the MediaTek smart device on your phone. Now after many attempts I have found this to be the easiest way to connect the watch. Only ever connect the watch to the phone so the watch needs to be connected to the phone not the other way around. You're wasting your time. Never the other way around. Always turn on the Bluetooth on your phone first. But for this first attempt, leave the phone's Bluetooth off for now. So I have told you to put it on twice, but I actually, for this first initial connection, you need to leave it off on your phone. So for the first attempt, let's leave the Bluetooth off on your phone. Go into the Bluetooth settings in your watch. So this means I have to turn it on. So go into menu, Bluetooth. So as you can see that power is on, so it's off and on. So that's on now. So you also need to turn on visibility. So you turn it on at the bottom there, so it now says visibility. So I don't, I don't know if I showed you that. So it says Bluetooth power on. As you can see that now says on. Let's see if I'll get it to focus. So Bluetooth power on, visibility, no we don't want to go into that one. And now visibility is on as well. Sorry about the glare, it's this camera and these lights, it doesn't like it for some reason. So power and visibility are on now, on your watch. Then select my device in the Bluetooth settings, so you go, so you, I'm in the Bluetooth settings now, so you click my device and it says there, see if it'll focus this is my device menu it says search new device so I'm doing this on my Q18 the menu settings may be slightly different on other watches so now go go down to my device and click it which I've done it should give you the an option to search for new device which it does at the top there so now turn on your phone's Bluetooth this is why I did it because you need to turn the, it connects so quickly if it's trying to connect when you turn it on and your Bluetooth's not on on your phone and it won't work. So let's go ahead and turn my Bluetooth on. So I'll just go down into the settings and turn Bluetooth on, which is that one. So Bluetooth is now on. So now turn on your phone's Bluetooth. It needs to be done this way for the first connection. Once your phone is stored in the watch, always make sure the phone's Bluetooth is on before you switch on the watch. As the watch auto detects seconds after switching on and won't find your phone unless the Bluetooth is on. The phone screen has to be on while connecting to the watch as well. So, it may well have already connected. I just see it flash up with something. So make sure that the watch and the phone are next to each other while it searches. It should, so, just bear with me. So now click the search new device. I missed that bit in my script. Let's just see if I can get it to focus. Search new device. It needs a bit more in the frame. Search new device. 
OK. So it's searching now. So there we go, it's come straight up Redmi and that's my that's my phone which is a Redmi Note 4X. So you press pair, pairing, let's hope this works, pairing, so pair on the phone. So it should be connecting, Redmi connected. So as you can see now it says search new device and read me below and what that says there is that's a dot with two two commas around it and that means that it's connected now to the watch. So let's go ahead and show you it on the app. Connected there, MediaTek Smart Device Q18 which is the watch and it's connected. So that's, we're getting there. So make sure that the watch and the phone are next to each other while it searches. It should then ask to. It should then say on the watch pair device. Your phone should get a pop-up notification say pair a device. Choose the yes. It may give you a pair code. My watch didn't need the code inputting, so it just did it. The watch will now ask if you want to sync time and date, which it didn't actually do, but it does sometimes. Let's just stop searching. Let's go back. Let's just see, 1552, 1552, as you can see there, the date, the time and date, there we go, 1553, 2017, 28th of the 12th, let's go there and show MediaTek smart device, the time is 1553, and does it say there, Thursday, December the 28th. So that bit's done. So we're getting there. So the watch will now ask if you want to sync the time and date. It didn't on this occasion because it had already synced in previous times. I couldn't reset it back to factory. So you should never need to manually set the time on your watch because it will always ask you to sync it if it's out of sync. So unless you want to use the watch as a standalone phone without a connection to your smartphone, then it will always set the time for you. To double check the watch is connected, the MediaTek Smart Device app should say connected. And that's what it does say, as you can see there, it says connected. Q18 connected, MediaTek Smart Device. So that confirms that it's connected. So, th so that is the main first step of the watch connection. Next, go into the notifications and select the personal apps and the push app system you want to be pushed to your watch. So this is another thing that hopefully it will go right. So notifications. So as you'll see there, it gives you your personal apps and your system apps. So you can toggle them on and off. And as you can see, a lot of them I've toggled off. Hot UK Dales is one I've toggled on. And you can toggle them on and off just by tapping them. Netflix. No, I don't want that one on. I don't know why. Sometimes it puts weird ones on. I don't need a lot on there. System apps. So obviously this should work as well. It should give you the option for Facebook, Twitter and WhatsApp as well on there and you can select them and it should push notifications straight to your watch. To tell you you've had a message or you've had someone like your comment or something like that. I don't know. So I don't know why. Occasionally it, it does select ones but I've had it a few times where it reselects everything and the only way to fix that I found is to lock the app after you've selected all your options. So as you can see there's quite a lot of options there and if they all reselect it back to one it would get really annoying. You're getting notified for every single app. So I went into here on mine and you, you can I don't know if you can see let's get closer but there's a little lock button there. It's difficult to do it without touching the screen but there's a little lock symbol there. You can see right at the top and what happened was I pulled it down and it allows me to lock the app. And as far as I'm aware, it locks the options to where I set them. So that's a, another little tip. It might work on your Android. Mine has a skin on top of the Android. So I don't know if that's something to do with, with that. So let's go ahead and go on there. So system apps and personal apps. Let's go ahead and put that back down. So go into your notifications and select the personal apps and the system apps you want to be pushed onto your watch. 
Sometimes this app, if closed, resets all the notifications back to notify all. But since I locked the app in my phone's phone, it remembers the settings. Let's just move that in to focus a bit. So I have to. So if I have to close the app and reopen it, the locking off of the app is done in the multiple apps open screen. So I've shown you how I locked it. I don't know if it works like that with your phone. So slide it back down and it unlocks it. If the watch and the phone are separated by more than five to seven meters, the watch will disconnect from the phone. If you want to check the connection, look in the MediaTek smart device. If it says connected, it is connected. And you can also look in the Bluetooth and if it says on my device, if it says it's got that little icon next to the next to your phone, then that is also connected. So you can check both ways. Also look in the Bluetooth settings in the watch under my device and the little antenna symbol should be next to the phone's name. So if not, go into my device in the Bluetooth settings, tap the device's name and press disconnect. So you go in press that and it gives you an option there let me go back so you can tap red me and press disconnect let's just wait for it to focus there we go let's go back again and show you so red me tap red me and it says disconnect or delete and you can start again from the beginning so let's just go back then make sure the watch's bluetooth visibility is on and the phone's bluetooth is on before you attempt the reconnection as the watch's Bluetooth visibility switches off to save power. So then select connect on my watch device option for the device you wish to connect to. So then select the connect on the my device option. So if I want to connect it to that one, let me just, just bear with me. Let's see if it'll focus again. So my device, so let's disconnect disconnecting disconnected and it says disconnected on the phone it says disconnected on the phone and it also says disconnected there so you can go and connect let's hope it says connecting has been connected and let's see if it says connected on there. Wow, it's going right for a change. So that says connected on there. So while the connection is made, make sure the watch and phone are close together. It will then say on the app connected. Now what to do when you turn the watch on in the morning. So if the connection has been made in the past between the watch and the phone, it has here and that's why I'm showing you it in this order. Then this is the shortcut on how to connect the watch to your phone. So let's go ahead and pray that this works so I'm going to take it steady so let me just get it to focus so I'm going to press and hold the off button so power off power off yes it goes through the off cycle just bear with me so first turn on the Bluetooth on your phone so it's on as you can see that's the icon for the Bluetooth on so that always makes sure that the Bluetooth is on I can't stress that enough because you're wasting your time if it's not so the Bluetooth must be on before you turn your watch on so have the MediaTek app open just to be sure on the phone so then switch on the watch making sure they are close together so let's go ahead and press and hold the button So it's going back through its on process. Almost as soon as the watch is switched on, it will say connecting. See if we can get it to focus. Connecting. Redmi connected. And that's it. So let's go in and check that it is connected. So my device, Redmi. And you can see the little icon there, so that is connected. So it may ask if you want to sync date and time. Click yes, it should then say connected on the phone app. Let's go ahead and fingers crossed, does it say connected? It does indeed, Q18 connected. So 
to double check the connection I play a bit of YouTube to see if the sound comes through the watch because this is another good or bad point of these watches. I don't know if it's good or bad. You want to listen to YouTube through the smallest speaker possible but it doesn't sound very clear but if that's you don't have a choice I don't think you can turn that option off. So that proves the connection as the sound won't come through the watch unless the watch is connected. And also when you receive a call it tries to put the sound through the watch. So it's very difficult to hear someone on the through the watch sound. So you might have to turn it off onto your normal watch, onto your normal phone speaker. So sometimes I've found that this connection fails, but it says connected on the watch and the phone. In this case, close the app on the phone, shut down the watch, make sure the Wi-Fi is on in your phone and the app is reopened. Then turn on the watch and keep it near the phone. It should then reconnect and it should be working again. I've done a few cheap smartwatch videos on YouTube. They are in order of how good they are. The best at the top, the worst at the bottom. So, the Q18, this is this watch, is the best, I think. Then it's GT08, GT08, sorry. Then A1, then DZ09, then the M26. So personally, I like the GT08 and the Q18 the most. Let's just go back to the home screen. So this is the Q18. It's quite a nice watch. I've done a I've done a video on this one already, and it's quite a popular video. I think it's a lot better than the than the, the DZ09, which is what it looks like, and it's a slightly curved design with a rubbery strap. So personally, I like the GT08 and the Q18 the most. That's the Q18, like I said. So any questions, please ask in the comments below. So thanks for watching and check back soon. Cheers. Let me just put that down. Thank you.